Well guys, I didn't think I'd be making another video on The Witcher Netflix so soon, but some new information has come out that is really, really important. And you know that I don't cover the little tidbits of information with The Witcher Netflix series, I like to make videos on the information that actually matters. So I made a video yesterday which was basically not only my reaction, but also just telling you all that Henry Cavill has been cast as Geralt. But today, some new information has come out. Or rather, yesterday, but I was too tired. So, as you can see from the tweet on screen, the Witcher now has a release date, or at least a release year. We now know that the Witcher Netflix series is coming out next year, which is absolutely insane. I mean, first we get to know who Geralt's gonna be, and then we know that it's coming out next year. I mean, that is unbelievable. That's two big pieces of information within two days. No one was expecting Geralt to be announced so soon, and no one was expecting a kind of release date to be announced so soon. So this is actually crazy. And the other reason I made this video is because of another piece of information that I saw yesterday. I retweeted it, but I thought oh, I won't bother making a video on it, it's only one piece of information, but now I feel like this is the perfect video to include this piece of information in. So you can see from this tweet on screen that the voice actor for Geralt of Rivia, Doug Cockle, so I will now read out Doug's tweet and say my thoughts on it. People keep asking, so let me go on record saying I think that Henry Cavill will do a great job as Geralt of Rivia. He'll make it his own of course, as well he should, and I can't wait to see what Lauren and the whole Netflix team create. It's going to be magic. So you can see from this tweet that he's clearly very supportive. I mean, to be fair, the Geralt from the books and the Geralt from the games are arguably different. Obviously, the Geralt from the games is very solidified for a lot of us Witcher fans, but to be fair, you can just think of this as another Geralt in a way. It's not the same Geralt as the games. And honestly, Henry Cavill's take can be amazing on Geralt. I know I'm going back to this again, and this was what I was saying yesterday's video, but I saw some really interesting points that actually kind of rung true for me. A lot of people were saying, look at Heath Ledger, he was in a lot of love films, no one really saw him being a good Joker. I mean, before Heath Ledger, you had Jack Nicholson playing the Joker. Very iconic. No one thought that anyone could take over him as the Joker. Nobody ever thought there could be another representation of him. But then Heath Ledger comes along, shows his Joker, and then everyone loves it. And Heath Ledger's Joker is arguably a better Joker than Jack Nicholson's. And here there are two more tweets from Lauren, and I will read what she said now. This is important and from my heart. I met Henry in April. Over the next four months, I met, reviewed, hundreds of other potential leads, many of whom were amazing, but what I never forgot was Henry's deeply insightful understanding of Geralt's strength and brutality, and, more importantly, his wit and vulnerability. Because, as a fan of the franchise, Henry saw beyond the script pages. He saw the human connection that Geralt perpetually needs, even if he denies it, kicking and screaming at every turn. What I saw was Geralt's heart in Henry. Anyway guys, that's the end of today's video, that's all the new information, I just decided to make a video basically because the Witcher release date's been announced, I want to let you guys know about that, most of you might not follow her on Twitter so you might not know about this release date, so I just thought I'd present it to you guys and I hope you've learned something new. I also of course want to talk about Doug and how he said that he actually is supporting Henry Cavill, so that gives us a little bit more clarity I think, and honestly I think Henry Cavill's gonna do a good job and I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of you guys are very skeptical, I'm also a little skeptical to be honest, but I still feel feel like he is going to do a good job. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. As always, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be retweeting any tweets like this I see. I'll be posting anytime I do a new video or if I'm planning to do a new video. So if you don't want to miss any of that, I'd recommend following me on there. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Not to date this video, but I plan to stream some of the new Spider-Man game tonight, as this video will be coming out the day that I make it, hopefully, so I'm looking forward to playing that. If you don't want to miss that stream tonight, be sure to go and follow me on Twitch, and if you're watching this video at a later date, be sure to go and follow me on Twitch, because I'll probably be streaming some newer games when you're watching this anyway. And finally, as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are awesome, you help me pay for my editing software, you help out with videos like these, it's really, really kind of you. Thank you to every single one of you that donates, I'm glad to put all of your names at the end of these videos as it's just so kind what you do thank you all so much you're all amazing and i just want to say thank you to every single one of you anyway guys if you've enjoyed today's video be sure to like it be sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one have an awesome rest of the week